Hello everyone, my name is Leilani and I'm a Yale 2020 intern at San Francisco Public Library. Today we'll be learning about chemical reactions by blowing up a balloon with not a mouse, but a chemical reaction. Let's get started. The materials that you would need for this experiment are one balloon, a half a cup of vinegar, one tablespoon of baking soda, one empty bottle, and a funnel or a piece of paper to roll up into a funnel, which is what I'm going to be using today. Step one, measure out one tablespoon of baking soda and use a funnel or a rolled up piece of paper shaped like a funnel and funnel the baking soda into the balloon. Then set the baking soda filled balloon aside. Step 2. Take off the cap of the empty bottle and measure out a half a cup of vinegar and pour it into the bottle. Step 3. Get your balloon and place the mouth of the balloon over the opening of the bottle. Step 4. When ready, tip the balloon right side up and allow the baking soda to fall down into the bottle to start the chemical reaction. Look what happens, the balloon is growing. But how is this happening? Good question. This is happening because of something called chemical reaction, where two things mix together to form a new product. Here, an acid-base chemical reaction is taking place, where baking soda is the base and vinegar is the acid. When the baking soda and vinegar mix together, it creates a gas called carbon dioxide. The gas, carbon dioxide, blows up the balloon because the gas has nowhere else to go. So it goes into a balloon and inflates it. Oh, that's cool. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to check out the rest of the STEM challenge yourself videos by SFPL librarians and Yale interns. Bye!